And I think the mobile uh, opens a lot of uh, opportunities in the yes. space. Um, mobile has a reach that is uh, massive. I mean, now we've gone beyond five billion connections worldwide, and a lot of the growth is mm. happening here in Asia. Exactly. And uh, with, with the high trends, um, the up and coming trends of high penetration of devices, together with also mobile broadband penetration, that's interesting because that's driving new trends of uh, mobile, leading the digital trend and online the emerging markets. Yeah. So that's what we see here. I mean, in, in Indonesia now you have a penetration of about 70%. We're talking about the fourth largest uh, uh, population on the earth. And uh, mobile broadband is much more uh, uh, visible and uh, penetrable than fixed broadband, which is a very low penetration. And in Singapore? Yeah, Singapore, we just learned a few days ago that um, uh, the smartphone penetration is up to 74%. So with that, that's going to change in connectivity and interactivity between people and the government and the business and also consumers. Mm -hmm. So that's that's how we Ericsson see it as a network society that we've been talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in Ericsson, we have this vision of uh, 50 billion connected devices yeah. by uh, 2020. This is a vision that captures the trend in cloud computing with mobility and fixed broadband. And when you merge these three aspects, the opportunities are uh, measurable. Well, there are a lot of things we can learn, for example, from the Japanese market. Like back 10 years ago, we just started um, uh, mobile advertising, for example. And today we see that it happening now. But for the next five years, what's going to be interesting with the mobile broadband penetration ratio, if you look at Today in Indonesia, it's actually um, about 5 to 1. If in uh, India, it's 8 to 1. If in the Middle East, it's actually 15 to 1. So uh, that's going to bring a lot of motion for mobile as a channel and as a, as a, as a media, eventually. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, with that, uh, the opportunity next five years is going to change from what brands want to buy. It might not be traditional media anymore, like mm -hmm. what happened in Japan right now. We have got uh, customers and agencies we work with in Japan and coming in and discuss this issue of how we can help them to actually increase uh, the presence of uh, mobile uh, because they're struggling with traditional media. So mm. we will see that for the next part. Of this part. Definitely. I mean, you can see a, a large shift from traditional media like TV and print going into uh, digital and especially mobile. And in terms of technology wise, uh, LTE, which is 4G, is already here, uh, it's going to be growing. Uh, in Indonesia, operators now support 42 megabits per second in the downlink, which is, you know, to the user. And this is only going to keep growing. Uh, we showed the demo where we downloaded a, uh, a movie in 13 seconds in a car as we're driving along. So if you multiply this over the next five years, you can see uh, that this is going to play a very big role. Uh, Multi-screen uh, is coming. We're already working in Singapore, for example, with uh, MediaCore for over-the-top TV multi-screen. And uh, I think this is a very big trend that is going to be happening over the next five years around the world. Yeah. And um, I think the, uh, your imagination is the limit to what will happen going forward.